assalamu alaikum friends so here we shall see how to create master data for an asset so we go to accounting financial accounting fixed assets and then uh, after the fixed assets we go to not posting but uh, we have to go to asset because first the master data has to be created then we can do a posting create and as01 is the decode asset so when we go there Okay, so we are in the asset decode and here we need to mention the asset class, the company code and the number of similar assets we want to create. As we discussed earlier that assets can be created in two ways, either with reference to an asset class, which is the, this part of the screen or with reference to a previous asset, which is this part of the screen. So we do an asset by through an asset class. So asset class, we can see if through F4, how many asset classes are available. So the US002 is the company code. Let's find how many assets classes are available to us. So the five asset classes are available to the company code US00 and we choose the vehicle asset class because we want to create a vehicle and then we press enter and we are taken to another screen. So here we want to give the description of the vehicle. So let's say Toyota Corolla. So excuse me for the spelling and uh, the account determination is automatically picked by the system which is five which is linked through the asset class uh, we can give some other uh, text we can give the serial number if there is one we can give the inventory number if this is also uh, related to inventory and we can give the quantity as well so quantity is one and it is each each is the unit right so one each and then i press enter and then in the time dependent data, you can see that uh, we can create the business area and the cost center. So let's choose the cost center NA AD 1000, the one we have already been using. And there are some other features as well, which we are not using. Then there is a tab for the assignment data, which is not relevant for us. Then origin data. In the origin data, you see the vendor. Uh, so it will be automatically populated once we will post the asset, means once we will acquire the asset, purchase the asset. Right now, we are just creating the placeholder, which is the master data. So this field will be automatically uh, populated and we can mention the manufacturer if we want here. Coming on to a very important uh, information, which is the depreciation area. And you recall the uh, early, earlier discussion that uh, uh, a chart of depreciation, which is usually specific to a country, can have more than one depreciation areas. And these are the parallel areas in which parallel valuation for different purposes will be taken care of. If you are not clear about the depreciation area, please do visit the earlier videos on uh, my channel. So two depreciation areas in the US chart of depreciation is the book depreciation and the uh, uh, MACRS uh, means the tax depreciation. So we need to mention the life for both of them. Uh, so let's say the life is five years and no periods, no months uh, for both of them. So life is five years. And we can also actually give here the uh, depreciation start date uh, if uh, this has to be some specific date uh, apart from the usual policy. So otherwise the usual policy will apply, which uh, uh, is uh, uh, actually retrieved through the deposition keys uh, and the posting date of the asset. So we don't need to give any uh, original uh, deposition start date. So we just press save and our asset is actually uh, this way it is saved, right? So you see the asset number, it is 5000003-0. So this is the sub number, right? So the system created a sub number zero for the first purchase and then if there are any accessories which we can post to the same series, we can post them. Uh, so look, uh, watch the earlier videos again for this concept. So we go back. Now the second step is actually the key purchase of the asset. So to purchase the asset, we need to go to the posting. And we, in our client, we don't have the rights to purchase the asset, but I will just show you that how to post the purchase of the asset, although we cannot actually transact this transaction. So this is with vendor F-90 that we are purchasing an asset with vendor means we are debiting the asset and we are crediting a vendor. So let's mention the document date as today's date. Uh, let's choose it. So 08 and 20. And then if you come down, we don't need to mention any other details in the header. Uh, over here, you can see the first line item, the posting key is 31. So I'm not, uh, for example, if not clear that what does posting key 31 means, uh, then let's look for it and see what the posting key 31 is. So you can watch my earlier video on posting keys as well. Two videos are there. So posting key 31 is for the vendor. 
and it is called the crediting a vendor. So it's about the vendor invoice. So we need to credit the vendor in this line. So it is not the debit posting key, it is the credit posting key for vendor. So the vendor, I remember the ID of my vendor was 101391. Uh, 391 is my user ID, so it's 101391. It's pre-configured vendor for me. You can use any other vendor with your user ID. So if your user ID is, uh, uh, is uh, I mean, uh, learn uh, 101, then you should uh, use 101101. If your user ID is learn um, 040, then you should use uh, vendor 101040 or you can use any other vendor as well. So after uh, uh, mentioning the posting key and the vendor, I press enter and system takes me to the detail screen. Here I need to mention the amount, which is 5,000 US dollars. And then I need to, there are many other details which are Jano German for us. So we omit them and then we come on to the next line item. And here the posting key is not mentioned by default. So I have to search a posting key, an appropriate posting key, because I know that when the vendor is created uh, in this particular transaction, I have to debit the asset. So I have to look for a posting key which actually debits and assets. So here should be in the debit credit column, there should be D and in the account type column, there should be A, A stands for asset. So let's see if there is a posting key with uh, uh, what are the available posting keys for assets. So for assets, there you see there are only two posting keys, 70 and 75. 70 is for debiting the assets, 75 is for crediting assets. So we choose this one and in the account we need to mention the asset number which we are, we are going to purchase so it was uh, 03 0 and then i press enter so system takes me and system says that posting not possible new account assignment is uh, accounting uh, asset accounting is inconsistent so because there is no migration uh, being done from sap erp ec 6 for hana in this client and this exercise is not part of the standard curriculum of SAP University Alliance, so therefore this uh, transition is not available. But had it been available, we can actually post this transition from here and then we can save it and then automatically the asset will be acquired, asset will be debited and vendor will be credited. So this was a small part of the asset accounting hands-on and uh, in the next videos we shall see some other T codes again to which we are not uh, allowed the, uh, to do any transactions, but we shall just see how to actually take care of those transactions. Thank you.